and welcome. Today we're going to be looking at uh, creating libraries uh, with functions in them that we can import into our Bash scripts. That's something that could be useful. I don't use it too much because normally when I write shell scripts, they're you know uh, very short, and you know I'll just throw the function in there. But let's say you have multiple scripts that are going to be using the same functions. Uh, you don't want to repeat that code, especially if you want to make a change to the function. Then you have to go and change in all the different scripts. So let's go ahead and just make a very basic script here. I'm gonna I'm gonna use Vim as my text editor. You can use wherever you want. I'll just call it main main.sh and I'm just going to put in a little template here uh, that I have uh, so we have our shebang line, a little copyright notice and then our main function here and as you can see it calls the main function at the bottom here which is going to echo welcome uh, sleep for a second and then exit. Let's go ahead and exit out of that change mod plus x to make it executable and now we can run our script welcome and a second later it exits out of the script Let's say, uh, you know, in a previous video, I showed you how to write a function that scrambles uh, the um, words that are given to it. So let's go ahead and go back into here. And of course, we can't just go like this. Let's say we wanted to say scramble. Welcome to my script. I'm just giving it a little bit more to scramble. Uh, but if we run that, we're going to get an error because scramble is not a command and there's no function in the script called it and there's no uh, executable on our system called that. Now, one thing I can do is I can come in here and I could um, paste that function that we did in the last video, which I actually added uh, a extra little echo here at the end. So it puts a new line at the end. You may or may not want that depending on... Uh, Actually, that might uh, not be a great idea if you want to scramble a word and then put it in a sentence. Anyway, for, for this video, it's fine. Now I can run that, and then you can see it scrambled our sentence. And each time we run it, it scrambles it a little bit different. But let's say, again, you're going to use the scramble function in um, multiple scripts. You don't want to write it multiple times, even if you're copying and pasting it, because if you want one that's inefficient, you're writing more code than you need to. and if you want to make a change, well, now you have to go and change it in multiple scripts. So what we can do is put that in its own little script file and call it into this script. So let's go ahead and delete the function out of here. Uh, so, and now again, if we run it now without that, we get that error that scramble doesn't exist. But if I list out what's in this directory, you can see I have a folder that I called libs for libraries. And if we list what's in there, I have a, a script called scramble. You can call the script wherever you want. And you can have multiple functions in there. Right now, uh, if I cat that out, you'll see that it just has that function, that scramble function. Um, so what we can do, let's go back into our main script and source that file. So at the top here, I'm gonna say source, and I'm gonna give it the name of that file. Um, scramble. So now, and I like to put stuff in quotations. It's not necessary most of the time, but there we go. So now I'm saying, source this file, which basically, just like if you're writing in C, you can include header files, which is basically taking that code and it's basically like that code is written in this file. Basically, we're taking this script and it's being pasted into this file. So now I can save that. I can run our main function and as you can see, it scrambles our sentence. Let me clear the screen, run that again. Anytime I run it, it scrambles it differently. So again, you can have multiple functions in there that aren't called in that script, but then you can call them in your script. So you can make your own library files this way and prevent the you know, repeating of code, which can get sloppy if you're working on a bigger project. Again, it's not something I use uh, often because most of my projects are just one file, but if you were to be writing a whole uh, suite of scripts and you have functions that you use regularly, you can uh, put them in a file and source them into your other files. It can definitely be useful on bigger projects. If you enjoy this video, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris Decay. There's a link in the description to my website there. You can search through all my videos from both my channels. And you can also go to the support section or check out the description of this video for patreon.com forward slash mylex1000 or you can support me through PayPal. I really appreciate it. You also get early access to videos, downloads of videos. And if you can't, be sure to like, share, subscribe, comment. I appreciate you watching and hope that you have a great day.